Imagine trying to plan something as complex as a healthcare system. There's lots of moving parts. Um, I think that one of the things that we're starting to really use in healthcare and embrace is the idea of predictive tools or tools that can help us inform what will happen. And with these tools, we can better allocate resources, we can understand future trajectories. So we're not just reacting, but we're actually planning in advance. So we conducted this study to look at the highest users of healthcare uh, in the province. So we know that a small proportion of the population consume a large amount of health resources. And so we wanted to develop a way to predict who these individuals would be so that we could better plan how to mitigate these high costs, as well as how to mitigate poor health outcomes for these individuals. So the way we did this study is we linked data that Statistics Canada collects as part of the Canadian Community Health Survey. And these are data that are collected on a routine basis among all Canadians. And by linking these data with healthcare utilization data, we can develop a model that takes all the factors that are in this survey and predicts healthcare utilization in the future. And one of the great things about this survey is that it doesn't just capture the things that we think about when we, uh, in terms of healthcare, like risk factors, clinical information, but it also captures broader characteristics like socioeconomic status and demographic factors and even how people feel about their own health. And by using this information, we get a much broader picture of who will become the highest users of healthcare and maybe how we can target our interventions to capture all those factors that contribute to healthcare utilization. We developed the model by linking individuals who were surveyed in the year 2005. There was about 60,000 individuals. And we looked at five-year healthcare use. And once we perfected the model by identifying the factors that optimally predict uh, future use, we then took that model and applied it to a separate group of individuals, about 30,000, surveyed around 2007, and looked at five-year healthcare use in that population and we're able to assess that our model accurately predicted the healthcare use in that cohort. So we had confidence that the model had good validity. We identified 12 self-reported risk factors that accurately predict healthcare utilization in the future. These factors range from clinical factors to demographics, socioeconomic status, and even indicators of how people feel about their own health. So the 12 self-reported risk factors are sex, age, ethnicity, immigrant status, household income, food security, history of chronic conditions, things like diabetes or heart disease, self-rated health, body mass index, smoking status, physical activity, and alcohol consumption. The highest uh, predictors in terms of uh, the most influential predictors of being a high user, uh, the first one is probably quite obvious, it's age. As people get older, their health needs escalate and uh, the complexity of their health needs increases. And that's something we all know. Uh, but the other factors uh, include things like comorbidity and diseases. So as you develop uh, chronic diseases, things like diabetes, heart disease, cancer, your healthcare needs are going to increase, and, and that's understandable. Some of the other uh, factors which we don't always think about in terms of healthcare planning are things like modifiable risk factors, so uh, smoking, uh, physical activity, um, body weight, which can be modified by physical activity and diet. And so these factors also predict healthcare utilization of the future. And that's understandable because they contribute to chronic disease risk, which we know is uh, demanding on our healthcare system. And then uh, lastly, people's socioeconomic positions. Uh, one of the most important indicators is actually food insecurity. And so someone that's food insecure actually is more likely to use healthcare resources in the future. So we have measures of diseases and comorbidities, and those are very predictive of, of needing healthcare use in the next five years. But an individual and how they feel about their health was equally as predictive. And so for me, this really reinforces uh, our need to listen to patients, uh, to make sure that we understand their perspective and uh, ask them about how they feel about their health in terms of how we can mitigate what's going to happen in the next five years.
So one of the great things is that we were able to find the model that was very accurate. And what that means is that people that want to use this small model in the future, we're confident that it accurately predicts the probability of becoming a high cost user. So what that means is that health planners from a variety of settings can use this model and accurately describe their population, maybe their hospital population, their region, and think about who are the highest needs patients and where should they target their efforts and planning.